Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And here's your evening forecast. We should see mostly clear skies, 53 at 7 o'clock, into the upper 40s at 9 p.m. and down to 46 at 11 o'clock. And then tomorrow as we get started on the day, lots of sunshine expected right around 40 degrees at 8 o'clock, 55 at noon, 61 at 5 p.m. as temperatures will top out in the low 60s later in the day. And our viewers continue to send in some great pictures of the fall color out there. Deborah and Dayton sending in this picture, all the reds and oranges there uh, that you can pick up there. Looks like maybe a a maple tree and check out Buck Creek State Park. Rick up in Springfield sending in this image and you can see all the beautiful fall colors. So hopefully you got a chance to get out there and take it in today because we had some great conditions out there. Lots of sunshine expected to start the week on Monday. Monday night though the clouds will be returning to the area and then remnants of Patricia. We're going to be watching some moisture come up from the Gulf of Mexico Tuesday and into Wednesday and that could produce quite a bit of precipitation for us as well. Right now a little bit of high level cloudiness still around, especially as you go south of town as we check out the stall vision camera over in Beaver Creek looking over toward the green so you can see some of the brightness there from the sun. Farther north you go though, the more those skies are clear and we should generally get back to mostly clear conditions tonight as those clouds continue to thin. 59 our high today, 48 our low temperature this morning, normal 61 and 41, hundredth of an inch of rain since midnight and we only picked up a little over a tenth of an inch yesterday at Dayton International Airport. Airports. Uh, most areas a quarter of an inch or less in that rain that we had, but it does look like a little bit more in the way of significant rain headed our way for midweek. Right now, 57 degrees and northeast wind at 10 miles an hour, and it's down to 54 already in Bell Fountain, 57 in Urbana, and you can see the mid and upper 50s across the southern part of our region. Tonight on Live Doppler 2 HD, it's dry here in the Dayton area, just some of those high level clouds drifting through. You can see they're fairly thin back to the west of us, so high pressure builds in, keeping us dry. But there's all that moisture down around Houston, Louisiana, spreading up into Arkansas. And for Tuesday and into Wednesday, it looks like we'll be dealing with some of that rain. But tonight, dry conditions, the clouds thinning out as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow evening, you can see that uh, we'll have uh, a few more of those clouds return to the area, especially as we head towards Tuesday morning at about 3 o'clock. Our forecast tonight, mostly clear, chilly, overnight low right around 40 degrees. And then tomorrow, Expect to see a mostly sunny sky, but seasonable temperatures. Afternoon highs reaching the lower end of the 60s. 50 at 10 o'clock, 55 degrees at noon, 58 at 2 p.m., 62 at 4 o'clock, 58 at 6 p.m. And there's that rain becoming more likely Tuesday and into Wednesday. Some of that rain could be heavy Tuesday and into Wednesday. And we're not far away from trick or treat. Here's your Halloween forecast, at least the early look. Upper 50s for highs on Saturday and around 54 going into Saturday evening. Uh, for your trick or treating, but otherwise, the end of the week, a lot of cooler weather there with temperatures in the 50s, some low 60s around on Sunday. Uh, but uh, at least tomorrow, take advantage of the nice weather because it looks like we'll have some unsettled conditions here uh, for Tuesday and into Wednesday. I'm sure a lot of kids are happy for that trick or treat weather. Not too warm, but it's still, it's not bad. It could be. Yeah, worse. the temperatures right now, it's looking good. So let's hope it stays that way over the next six days. All right. Thanks, Brian Hutch. Look at sports. Yeah, week seven in the NFL. Cincinnati enjoyed the bye week and yet.